What makes Bloons Tower Defense so fun? Is it the comic looking monkey tower animations we all fall in love with? Or is it the strategy of the game? I have formulated my own answer and I want to share it with you all. The answer might not be what you think it is. First, let's talk about the game's design and core principles. The game design of Bloons is very simple. It is a tower defense game and each tower can deal damage to balloons coming down the track. Just like towers have different abilities, balloons have different abilities, and each tower can only do damage to certain types of balloons. This is where the strategy comes into play, and also knowledge of how each balloon can be popped, and what towers can pop them. With each difficulty level comes different levels, track design, increased monkey upgrades, and more. What is the more you asked? Well, I'm glad you did. Let's get right into it. The live events, bosses, odyssey, collection events, rush races, custom challenges, custom maps, you could do it all. All of these collection events and custom challenges are in constant rotation, giving the players different ways to play the game, bosses, community challenge, whatever, and you could play co-op and do all of things these all of these things together. Excuse me. This is great for the game because knowing the game's core principles, you can go and share that online with your different friends, your contested territory teams, your within races, the list goes on. A very basic game design, yet when given imagination, can be turned into a whole new world. Another game that has done this is Minecraft. I personally think Bloons Tower Defense is the Minecraft of strategy games. Now, hear me out. They took the basic concept of Balloons Tower Defense, added the community features, live events, and more, co-op, custom events, custom maps, and this game is still thriving after it's being released in 2018. The game constantly gets updated through live events, the new towers, new maps, and it is backed by a community who absolutely loves what they do. But what really sets this game apart from anything else is the infinite amount of strategies you can come up with to beat the game. Just like Minecraft, there's an infinite amount of things to do as long as you put your imagination and your touch on it. I have never, and I mean never, played with two different people that had the exact same strategy for let's just say a certain map, a certain mode, a certain boss. The possibilities are endless. Could you name me a time where you've seen this happen? Where you know, unless they've watched the same video and ca actually calculated and formulated it, everyone's strategy is different all of the time. With that being said, new ways to beat the game are still being found. Using different cross path abilities, the more that can help you and go crazy with other upgrades, with other cross path abilities and formulate your defense. New towers getting added into the game and you possibly discovering the new meta for all players or you can even make Ninja Kiwi patch your overpowered strategy. The patch notes are constantly improving the game to furthermore increase the amount of probability and infinite potential within these strategies. Alright dude, paddle thumbs, what's the point of saying all of this? Uniquely, Balloons Tower Defense is more than just a strategy tower defense game. The game's easy core principles and design make the game suitable for all ages. The live events, bosses, contested territories, races, and just customizability within creating your own tracks, your own challenges, and I haven't even mentioned just playing the game absolutely normal, going through the maps and playing it on each difficulty. It gives the players a feeling what almost seems like an infinite amount of possibilities and gameplay. If you don't want to play the same map under the same conditions over and over again, you don't have to. The game gives you different options. Just like in Minecraft, if you and your friend go build houses, your house will look completely different than your friend's house. Same goes for if I asked you to beat Town Center on hard, your strategy of beating the game will be completely different than your friend's or even mine. And that is due to the game's nature of allowing you to customize and put your own flavor into the game essentially expressing yourself in your own unique way. That is the point I'm trying to make. Balloons Tower Defense allows you to uniquely express yourself and how you would handle situations that get thrown at you. Will you save all of your monkey money so you can start every single game with a cash drop? 
Will you do and grind all of the collection events so you get almost unlimited Insta Monkeys and pass all of the hardest bosses, live events, and expert maps with ease? Or are you a challenge grinder and do you want to use no upgrades, no monkey knowledge, and strictly beat the game the hardest way? With all this being said, you could constantly look up videos of different metas, strategies, knowledge, and more to uniquely express yourself through this game. Create your own custom challenge tracks and share all of that knowledge you learned by making a truly hard challenge. All in all, what truly makes Bloons Tower Defense an amazing game, aside from everything I mentioned above, is you guys, everyone and all who play the game. The amazing community that Balloons Tower Defense has. We as players share the best strategies and try to have the most fun exploring new ways to play the game and uniquely express ourselves showing that off to the community. We want to share how much knowledge or how much time and effort we've been formulating into our strategy or even preparing for certain events, contested territories, bosses, and more. Why do you think this game is so beloved by the community and why is it still successful to this day after being launched in 2018? Let the community know in the comment section down below. I hope you found this video insightful and informative to help you enjoy the game of Balloons TD just that much more. Thank you for watching and as always, get 1% better every day. Paddle thumbs out. Hey, you subscribed. Does it feel good?